Hey guys, this is Fish Taco. Uh, I'm going to start a new series today. So I've been playing on this PvE uh, Rust server, and basically, you know, there isn't any PvE, and um, a lot of the uh, progression system is all god. Um, kind of simplified in a way. I hope he doesn't attack me. I think they're programmed not to attack you if you're near a town. But, uh, yeah, I've had things happen. Um, so basically on this server you've got uh, shops, essentially, so I think this is, no, this is the guy with the custom weapons. Uh, so this guy sells weapons. I have a thousand dollars right now, and uh, you can buy a gun, you know, up to about 10k, and then each bullet is one money, which is kind of cool. Uh, and uh, 2,000 RP, uh, uh, 2,000 money it can be exchanged for one RP to get custom shit or way more expensive shit. You pay like, you know, 30 30 RP, so that's a lot of money. Uh, and there are also quests on this server, and I am going to have a little bit of jolly old fun, because there is all of these kill uh, quests, and these are just regular animals. Yeah, and the helicopter, which will be the hard part. Uh, but I've done almost all of these uh, gathers, but I want to do... I'm going to hunt down the Sasquatch. Now, he is an enemy... Uh, programmed into the game, uh, he basically does melee with no weapon and he'll kill you. Uh, I think he's using like a sword maybe, but it's programmed to act like punching. Uh, and then there's the Yeti, which is like the lesser one. Or maybe they're the same. And then there's Terminators, as in fucking... I'm pretty sure it means as in like Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, Terminator type stuff, which is terrifying. Which is I think why they drop batteries, which is kind of funny. But, yeah, we're going to give it a go. So I'm pretty sure I can accept all of these. I will just accept all of them for now. Um, but I'm only going to be working on these two. Now, if we look, it says, Your task is to hunt down a yeti that has allegedly been seen in the snowy regions in the northwest. And then you've got for the other one, There has been numerous reports of a savage Sasquatch roaming the central forest. So, northwest snowy. Uh... Central forest, and I have a map here. Oh no! And that's why I put my uh, weapons away when I go to the town, people. Yeah, there's uh, there's peacekeeper turrets in the town, and if you take out a weapon, it kills you. So yeah, I was going to show on camera that uh, I put my weapons away every time I enter the town, and then there I go. I fucking that's a bear. I um I double I fucking. I scrolled and uh, now I'm dead and I think all of my shit may be lost unless by some miracle it doesn't teleport your body away when you die. Okay, I got my shit back, I'm not gonna rage. <laughs> if I hadn't have gotten my shit back I may have been a little angry but uh, I think we have replacements for everything I'm carrying. It would have just pissed me off a little. Uh, so yeah, as you can see I have shit tons of ammo and I am actually prepared for my journey. I'm just introducing you to the server first. Uh, okay, so yeah, what I did was I scrolled, see, and it takes out the weapons straight away. And, uh, yeah, I instantly got killed by the Peacekeeper turrets. And that has happened to me a few times, but I've always escaped them by hold hiding behind a building until they stopped freaking out. But in this case, uh, things did not go over well. Now, there's a bear around here somewhere, so I'm going to be a bit careful and grab my gun out ASAP. So yeah, we're safe to take our weapon out now gonna kill him to let off a bit of steam. See, on this server, I can go home. I've got two homes, one in my original uh, halfway house. It's up there, I think. And then one at the new base, which... Since this is a PvE server, there is n basic. there's basically no need for maze-like buildings or any kind of design. As long as there's no way into your base, uh, it can't be griefed. Which I really love. It's so relaxing to know that... And yet, at the same time, you know, there are plenty of things to do on a PvE server with all these mods. It's really, really cool. Uh, so this is the house. It started off as this, like, offshoot bit. Uh, and then, uh, after we, after we made this room, I started building the next bit, and it took a lot of wood. Uh, and obviously we don't need to make any, any stone apart from this bit, so it would close it in on the bottom, because you can actually climb under houses that are wood. Uh, but yeah, uh... But then I made this giant area just, just, I don't know, for fun. It was just kind of fun. I didn't really know 
how the building system worked in times in terms of stability when you didn't make every fucking room a little maze. It was just kind of stress relieving to just build a house and not worry about, okay, is this going to get raided in about 20 minutes when I go off AFK for five minutes? And yeah, that that's a lovely feeling. So, so yeah, now I am prepared for the journey again. I'm just going to do a bit of inventory searching. Um, in fact, let me get the map out like I was going to. Uh, this is us. That's where the town is. Uh, we've been looting here, but actually this harbour is complete shit. Uh, the power plant and the satellite dish is where I've been looting. I just run up that way and I collect, uh, you know, stones and shit as I go. Uh, and then, where we're going, I think, um, I'm pretty sure the yetis are in here. Or, no, it was the sasquatch that was in here and the yeti that was up in this uh, northwest ice area and I'm frankly kind of terrified to meet one but I think it should be fun you know uh, just a little bit of a uh, just a little bit of light-hearted fun it's, it's gonna be great we won't die about 17 times but uh, as you can see I have this sorting system it's awful I I just drew the little pictures because I was bored uh, and here's our weapons we've got plenty of spare guns that I can grab if I die um, I'm not going to be carrying that one around because, I mean, I would rather have one with pistol ammo and then the rifle for the rifle ammo if I'm killing shit. I mean, I don't know if that's even an effective way, but it'll do. And then we actually do have a few explosives and stuff, uh, and I did make a rocket launcher as well. But other than that, uh, we've got a bunch of wood and everything, so, and, and metal, so if I fucking die and lose everything too many times I can just make more and you know go loot anyway uh, we're gonna embark in a minute on our epic journey to the middle uh, you know yeah let's go into the middle and and hunt that uh, middle bit first uh, before we go up to the north because I feel like that's even more of a journey and I think what I should do is I'm actually bringing uh, 25,000 wood uh, 4,000 stone uh, and what I'll do when I get there is make a an entire little house, uh, put two beds in it, gift one to Woven, my friend. He is, you know, the co-owner of this channel. And uh, he's currently going to a, an, a small, uh, like, cosplay es expo um, up in a town nearby. Okay, so I'm just going to inventory sort a bit more and then we'll leave. Oh, and I'm also bringing a few sewing kits and some cloth in case I need to make a jacket for colder climates. A little update. You hear that beautiful noise? Well, I'll turn off my music. That's the sound of helicopter rotors. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna wait until it despawns. Hopefully, right when it turns day, that thing will fuck off. Apparently, the only way to make them not shoot at you most of the time is to take off all of your armor and all of your weapons completely off the hotbar. Um, and I don't, I don't really feel safe, because what if a bear comes out? Like, uh, the other day, there was a bear, and Michael and I were there, and I got greedy and decided to shoot at the bear while the heli was out, and we got fucking Hydra missiled by the, uh, helicopter. And actually, it went for him first, which was kind of weird. Oh, another thing this server has is I, if I type slash gift, I got these. Um, I think they reset every Thursday weekly. So, yeah, you start off with some pretty meh, um, although these door, uh, door closers and openers are really good, so I'm kind of looking forward to getting more of those. But, yeah, it gets better and better. You actually get an airdrop, uh, and I've played even more than that, and it's only three days after last reset. And, uh, and then you get a candy cane. You can, you, some of them are just, like, spam type things to make it so you don't get a reward every 60 minutes. Uh, and then you get more door openers, and then this is the one I want. That's a fucking double, uh, a double crate summon. That's awesome. Uh, and then it gets real good. Get myself an assault rifle, although I can make all that and buy it, so it's not a big deal. Uh, and then just tons of shit. And then right at the end, an M240, which you can only get from the helicopter, apparently. So that should be nice. Uh, and yeah. So I'm just going to wait until this motherfucker leaves, and then I uh, come back to you when that happens. It's come for me. It's come for me! 
the helicopters come for me. I knew it! I knew it wanted me. I think it might be shooting napalm onto the roof. Oh my fucking god. Okay, he's left me for the day. He seems to hate me, that, uh, that helicopter boy. He just loves flying around shooting at me. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I have done a bit of inventory sorting. Let me... Uh, dump all my shit back. Oops. I'm basically using cactus to store water in my inventory. Because bottles are pathetic. We'll eat some more meat. Okay, so we have shit tons of meat, shit tons of that. I made some healing items. And yeah, we're basically ready to run up a hill, over the hill, and to the north, into this giant area. So, we'll head to the mining outpost first. Uh, we're currently heading the wrong way. And I will uh, cut these down as I go for more cactus flesh, because that's what I'm going to be living off. Uh, that and bear meat. Uh, I'm going to time lapse this bit where I'll, I'll just be speeding through uh, at, in fast forward until I come to something interesting. Oh, immediately something interesting. Oops, that's the wrong command, Lucky. Slash gift. And now we've got more of these, and I'm now carrying them. I, I've actually just finished putting the last one of these on the last door in the house. So it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm not really caring. And it's gone really foggy. I don't know if that'll fade once I go down the hill, though. I think it will. Okay, here we are at the servo. It's called that. Um, I think it's another small town. There we go. Oh god! Please no turrets. We're okay. We're okay. Okay. So this is a sleeping man. Oh yeah. So it's a uh, just to just to be safe. Let's take all the weapons off of that. Ah, it's a little shop. Nice. What can I get here? Oh, I can get tons of shit that I couldn't get at the uh, other town. Uh, and currently, you know, I don't really... So wait, what? Oh, they cost... Oh, okay, it's like an exchange, that's kind of cool. Uh, although I don't want any of this shit. I think this might be populated with players occasionally. Maybe that's why there's all this shit that you wouldn't be able to do without uh, money. That's okay. I think we're actually going to head uh, northwest to the water treatment plant before we enter the giant forest. In fact, once I'm done at the water treatment plant, I'm going to start making the house, and then I'll go out on my journey to possible death. And what I'll do is I'll leave a bunch... All the shit I brought for crafting, I'll leave in the building, and I'll just bring my gun. Oh, there's a bear. Let's kill it. Uh, yes. I don't know if... Uh, I think it's part of Ross now. Yeah, there's there's the caves. I'm not sure if it's a mod or not. 
But, uh, you know, mods are good, so I'm not going to hold it against the devs if it isn't, because they fully support modders, unlike some people. So yeah, let's head northwest. Okay, I'm just looking out uh, along this. There's a bear over here. I'm just going to kill him for safety. Oh. He must have been nearly dead. We'll grab his meat and his animal fat. Okay, yeah, I'm always paranoid on this server, by the way, because I don't know what they classify as an ancient ruin. And apparently in the ancient ruins, there's the Terminators hanging around about there. And I'm kind of worried I'm going to run into one of them at one of these random buildings. But, uh, let's head northwest again. I just needed to get over that hill. Yeah, I'd say we're pretty much where we want our little base, actually. Uh. Just going to kill that little fucker. Alright, uh, we can actually build right next to this thing. I think it's kind of a nice little spot. Let's just uh, take care of this little horsey horse. Hit him. There you go. Alright, so I'm going to start building. Uh, I might just be a minute. I think I'm within someone's uh, wardrobe distance. Ah, never mind. I found a spot. Uh, this'll do. Uh, this is a little outcropping. It's kind of nice. Alright, uh, so let's build. Alright, so we're done making the little mini house, it's just kind of cozy, has a bunch of doors, not going to get broken into because there's no PvE, uh, PvP, so you can't grief a house. I'm just going to go check out this little industrial, it's a water treatment plant. So that looks pay, player built, is it? I think that might be player built. Uh, but let's be really careful, so... Oh shit, that's a turret. Is it? Yeah, that's a turret. I'm not going near that. I'm not even going in here. I'm just gonna not go near that. <laughs> I mean, it has turrets. It's not, not a good thing. Ever. Alright, we're gonna need to go back to the little outbase because I need to set a, I need to set my final home there. Um, I've got to set home one and two, but I'm gonna do a three here for now, so that I can always teleport back if I die and just maybe even run up and get my shit back, or just restart from there. But if I don't have a teleport and I die now, I'm gonna have to run all up here again, which I'm not really feeling like doing.
kind of like the location of this little forward base. Alright, so now that we've uh, searched that, I'm probably never going to go there again. Well, at least not in this session anyway. Uh, so, let's put anything we don't need away. I think we're ready to go on a bit of a death kind of journey. Terrifying into the deep kind of thing, because uh, I'm not sure we're going to survive against... I, I don't know how strong they are, but apparently they're really um, hard to kill. So if I run out of ammo and it hits me, I'm probably dead. Uh, so yeah, that's good. So, shall we head north and uh, we'll be in the open uh, forest, which I'm guessing it's going to be around this area. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a bit of painting. That's my base location. And here is where I... Fuck. Here is where I think the Yeti might be. I'm thinking he's in there somewhere, and we're gonna hunt him down. So I'm gonna do a bit of hunting. I think I will do. Uh, I'm gonna change it to a red. This area here, I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna run through it, grid search it, and see if I can find this motherfucker. Time to hunt. Alright, so we're near about entering the area I think he might be in. Be real careful. I'm going to be prowling about, listening in my headphones. In fact, I'm going to stop my uh, Newgrounds music. And really immerse myself in this terrible place. I think I might go right around the edge, uh, like around there. And then circle back. And then search the middle as I uh, as I go in toward the middle, and that'll be grid searched area number one. Hopefully he's not in there because I'm actually rather afraid. But I, if I find him, I'm gonna shoot at him. It is actually turning night, so what I might do is just have a look around, and then I'll end the episode. Uh, and then in next episode, which will be straight after, we're gonna go looking. I'll wait until morning in game to start recording again because. <laughs> Nighttime's not the best place to hunt animals or Sasquatches. And as you can see in the chat, actually, the Sasquatch is killing animals. He's around here, and I will find him. But uh, I think for now, let's run back to the house, because guess what I forgot to do? Set a fucking home! <laughs> I am an idiot. I'm sorry. Okay, meet you back there. Okay, so we're back at the house. I'm going to end recording and wait for morning. And uh, yeah, see you in a sec.